Hey everybody, this is Barry Sauce. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to let you everybody know that I figured out a way to remove the BIOS password from the Panasonic Toughbook CF30. This should work for the 28, 29, and maybe the 31, but I'm not sure. I haven't got the money to shell out four or five hundred bucks to to get one. There's a few out there on eBay. But anyway, I had another one that came up the same way, the same screen and her password. Um, you know, it says enter accepts, escape clears, <laughs> but um, if you try it, it will, it won't work. You know, if you, if you don't know it, of course, it's not going to work. If you put in a password or the standard, you know, whatever, God, whatever you think, you can try that, but you're taking, you know, endless guesses. It's more than likely not going to work. Um, so, just get this in there again. But anyway, I bought this off eBay for a reason. You know, it was it was pretty cheap. It was like 120 bucks, 125 dollars. Um, it is a Intel Centrino, and it's got about a gig of RAM, not very much. The processor decent. If you put a solid state uh, drive in these things, they pretty much fly. Anything, of course, flies. These are really solid laptops. They're really good for, you know, just having a spare or taking one out on a trip, or you don't want to. You can run over with your car if you really want to. Um, it's got a good battery in it, but what? Um, so if I can, I can type in, you know, like God or something. You know, it's not going to work, and if you just keep hitting enter to try it again and try it again, it's just going to shut off. So what I've done is I have already taken the um, the bottom off, and what I just need to do is just pull the pull the battery out. It's over here on this side. You know, it comes with a good battery. Those are no joke. These things are really sweet. I like these things, but the problem is I just got to stop, stop buying them. So I already took the bottom off. Just like magic, <clears throat> it's really self-explanatory to take these things off. Just remove all the screws. You don't have to take off the screws that hold the you know the brackets on for the covers and all that stuff. You know this one was broken. This is the USB cover. That's the AC cover. And what we want to go for is right under here. Show a screwdriver in here. You can uh, let me see if I can turn the. Nope, I can't. But anyway, there's a little cable right here, this one right here, and that is uh, the CMOS battery. And so what I did before on the other one is I just removed this screw here, this screw, this one, and this one. And this kind of just comes off, and you want to remove this uh, tape right here, this ribbon cable, uh, probably for the touchpad or something. And then you can, you can just pop it off. Could probably just pop it off right now. Let me see if I can do that here. Yep, pop that sucker off. And so what I would do, I can't turn it back over because the um, for some reason the processor, the the heat pipes and the heat sink and fan, or just the heat sink, is right there on the bottom. So what I've done before on the other one. It's backwards is I just put in a couple of the screws back on. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> now I only need, I put in like, because it's one is right here and one is right there, the big ones. And I can just put that back on and I can fire this back bad boy back up. I'm gonna put the battery in. Or actually what I wanna do is leave the battery out and what I usually do, this is this is the old school troubleshooting tech support, you know, back in the day when we could uh, sort of the camera angle in the shadow. I don't have that awesome setup like all the other YouTubers do yet. Um, get in there. But you can pull the, you know, you can pull the prom in the old school days, and then you can get it ready to flash with a floppy drive. Then just before you flash the BIOS. What you would do is put the um, you would put the um, pull the physically pull the prom off and then swap it with another one with the one that you want to flash and then right as you do that you, know, you can do it while it's on because the BIOS everything is running in memory right it doesn't need the the BIOS anymore you put the BIOS on there and then you flat and you flash in the bad BIOS as long as you have the right BIOS for that corresponding motherboard it'll work. But that's on like the Asus A7V133. That's like way back when the AMD processor was awesome. And it was really hot. 
cook an egg on it. But um, anyway, so I don't have a battery in there. You know, if I try to turn the power on, nothing happens. And I want to hold the power button down, you know, for a while. You know, and they say that you want to um, have this, uh, like, leave it out for 30 minutes or an hour. You know, nobody really knows for sure. Just as long as you just kind of leave it alone and just let it sit and try to turn it on and just make sure there's no power at all, that it'll forget. So you know what, I'm just gonna say screw it and I'm just gonna try it because I wanted to try this anyway. So the battery's back in, it's powering back on and let's see what happens when we go into the BIOS. And it probably won't work. It'll probably give me the finger. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. And yeah, this is, that really, oh my God, this freaking camera sucks ass. This really happened. <laughs> so that's pretty easy. Um, this is the BIOS, and so then you can just go to. Uh, this is what exactly what I did last time. Uh, password on boot, disable, and I think that's all I did. And then you can kind of see a little bit more. The BIOS and these things are, are pretty sweet. Um, you know, anything that I do, it won't it won't remember. And the options are over here. Um, you could make it so that you don't want it to boot up off of like uh, the USB uh, USB uh, CD, and you can hit X to um, bring it down to exclude, which is pretty cool. So anyway, yeah, that was pretty good. that was pretty neato. You can see the processor, and there's no hard disk in there right now. Um, battery's eh, battery's okay. It needs a charge, I believe. Um, Oh, cool. And it's a touch screen. Huh, neat. So yeah, so this was $120 or so off eBay. Another one was about 60 And this should work pretty much on anything. You know, uh, unless on the newer ones, I'm thinking the CF31s, like the i5, the third generation, and the, I think it's the 5300U processor. That one should have to require a special... Like, you'd have to send it to Panasonic. I actually contacted support because I was curious and what they would say, you never know, right? And they wanted me to send this in so I would pay for shipping out of my pocket. And they wanted $130 just to look at it, which is, that's just robbery. And so actually what I could do, well, actually I can't do that right now because if I turn it over, <clears throat> that's my leg, if I turn it over, um... You know, it would shut down because I don't want to cook the processor. So I would have to turn it off, and it's going to forget everything. But if I hook this battery back up, um, there we go, shut off. If I hook the battery back up, let me see if I can do that real fast. <clears throat> see how that was the easiest thing to get this sucker off. If I can hook out the battery back real fast, then um, it'll work just fine. You know, like it'll, it's like the password was never there. I probably should have had a Phillips screwdriver, you know. There we go. Oh, yeah. And there's screws on there, huh? I'm a dumbass. Now, you see, you got to see the whole screw coming up because some people might think that this is fake. So many screws were so freaking hard to come out. It was dumb. If you want to take this apart on the big ones, there's a couple. There's big ones on the outer perimeter, like in the corners. There's one. There's another one right there, and then there's another one right here, and then there's two big ones in the middle. Some of them just did not want to budge, and I almost stripped one of them really good too. I'm gonna get it. Fuck it up. So, but yeah, see, I gotta hook this back up. Unless I'm really lucky. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put the phone down. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to do this in one take. I'm just gonna put it down, and you guys are just gonna hear nothing. Let me screw around with this thing. I think I can get it in there. I think I'm 
light would probably be the nicest thing. Right now. Light. All right. I'm just gonna lay that right down on the circuit board thing. So I don't really care. It'll be fine. Ugh, I almost had it. Please go back in the hole. Holy shit. It's a lot easier last time because I just pulled the that piece out. A little screw. Ooh, okay. That actually got it. Turn off the uh, it's upside down again. Damn it. Yeah, there's the memory. It's really easy to get to. I think, I think anybody on planet Earth knows how to do a memory upgrade on a laptop, and if you don't, you shouldn't do it. And don't give me that. Well, I'm an engineer. I'm Shishko certified. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I've heard that shit before, and one guy told me that, well, I'm Shishko certified. Like, I'm, I, I spent $10,000. And he didn't know how to install a sound card, and I installed that in a running machine with the same sound card, and that sucker fired right up. Man, I would be embarrassed. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Turn this fucker back on. Beep. And, yep, there we go. Pretty simple. Yeah, see, everything that I did, see, that was still up there. So, very easy. And these laptops are, they are no joke. They are sweet. I have just got to stop buying them. I've got to stop buying them. And there's no hard drive in it. And the hard drive's on the side right here. It would be right there. Um, you can put a you can put an SSD in that sucker. You can put in like a 128 gig Samsung. Uh, and you can go crazy. I think the fastest one. You can spend 122 dollars right now on new egg on the Samsung Evo Pro, or the 850 Pro. And I have one. An officer has one right now, and it flies. And that's on an i5. And this is like a crappy Centrino. What the hell processor is this again? Core 2 Duo 7500 1.6. That's not bad, you know, but um, it could be better. So I usually turn all this crap off. Who the hell needs a modem? But anyway, I just wanted to show everybody that. That was a piece of cake. I'm waiting to do this shit all day. Kids asleep. Now I get to play with this. This is in really great shape. It's amazing. You know, the wireless card usually goes right here. The air card. The WWAN, whatever the hell you want to call it. The air card. So, but anyway, you just pull the battery. And then we're going to disable that. I think that's what I've usually disabled and did in, on the last one. It's kind of getting a little too long here. And then it should just come right up. To the boot screen and then it's going to want to boot off the network we'll just do control alt, delete and we'll go right into the bios come on 
bam, there you have it. Before it said enter password. So anyway, um, hope this isn't too long. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe.